we would have found her already. So what's he doing to her? There's no raven fault. So is it companionship he's after? Now, there might be an almost chivalrous aspect to this. I can say here, uh, truckers have a romanticized image of themselves, and in fact, all lifestyles revolving around the open road do that. The Hell's Angels, for instance, they refer to their women as their old ladies, but in fact, there's no one they'd rather protect or die for. Their treatment of women wouldn't be out of place in the Arthur's court. And their sense of isolation would have that fancy. So he's looking for a wife. He starts out with easy targets, and then he moves on to women who could actually fill the role. Sweet, outgoing, warm. A bartender who takes extra care of you, a chatty hitchhiker. But over the course of the day, they fail the test. And this infuriates them. And then he strangles them and dumps them. Okay, so why take Nancy Campbell? She's the opposite of all the other victims he's taken. True. She's older. She already has a kid. Maybe that's why she's still alive. What if he's not looking for a companion? What if he's looking for a mother? Maybe he's got a kid of his own. That would explain what he's coming back to Edge. Explain why he walked past Courtney to get to Nancy. Just by watching, he knows she's a mother. She's already qualified to pass any test. Garcia. Sir. I want you to narrow down the own authority truck with this and tell me which ones have been through a divorce recently or a custody battle. The custody fight would be a stressor. Limit your searches to months prior to the first murder. Got it. Thanks.